okay uh, in uh, today's video i'm going to explain you uh, how to design an op amp uh, based vco in lt spice i'll also demonstrate in, uh, how to do the simulation and then uh, how to do the measurement of the uh, frequency of operation of the vco right uh, first let's, let me explain you uh, how this an uh, a-stable multi vibrator uh, based on this op amp works and then we'll subsequently modify this uh, a-stable multi vibrator into an uh, vco right so if you see here uh, the output of the op amp and uh, i have used uh, two resistors out here as a potential divider and, and i'm giving it as a feedback signal so i have used the same value of the resistors 10k 10k so the v feedback will always be half of v out okay uh, and this for this op amp i have given a uh, vdd uh, this uh, ad8542 works for uh, 0 to 5 volt so i have given vss as minus 2.5 volt and vdd as 2.5 volt okay so these are the power supplies which i have given symmetrically plus and minus uh, voltages okay now so to understand the operation let's uh, first assume that uh, the initially there is no charge on the capacitor and the v out is uh, positive value out here okay that is uh, plus 2.5 volt here so once it's plus 2.5 volt here obviously uh, half of that because this is i have used the equal resistance out here so half of that that is 1.25 will be available at the positive terminal of the op amp and since it is 2.5 volt here at the v out this capacitor is going to get charged uh, towards 2.5 through this 10k resistance okay so this capacitor is slowly going to get charged but this capacitor cannot go and charge till 2.5 essentially because the moment it reaches 1.25 volt so the negative terminal out here it is going at uh, the moment it is going to cross 1.25 volt okay because the the feedback is 1.25 volt so the moment it is going to cross 1.25 volt this op amp is going to uh, toggle the output to uh, negative that is it the v out is going to be now minus 2.5 volt right so also the moment the v out goes to minus 2.5 volt what is going to be the feedback out here it is going to be minus 1 to uh, 1.25 volt out here the negative feed feedback which is going to be available in the positive uh, terminal of the op amp now this capacitance is going to get charged for it, it had got charged till 1.25 volts right now it is going to charge the other way around from 1.2 volts going to come to zero and it is a going to it will start charging towards an uh, uh, 2.5 minus 2.5 volt but then again the moment it reaches minus 1.25 volt then it will again since the negative has gone below minus 1.25 it will the positive voltage we have given as minus one point is going to toggle the output is going to now again toggle back to 2.5 volt so essentially this this is going to work like an oscillator and the output v out is going to toggle between plus 2.5 volt and minus 2.5 volt right and the vf out here that is going to toggle between when it is uh, plus 2.5 it is going to be a plus 1.25 volt here and when it is minus 2.5 it is going to be uh, minus uh, 1.25 volt out here and this capacitor is going to whenever it is going the v out is 2.5 volt it is uh, it will keep charging towards uh, now uh, 2.5 volt but it will reach max at 1.25 volt and similarly when the v out is uh, minus uh, uh, 2.5 volt this is going to get charged it, it will start charging towards minus uh, 2.5 volt but then it will reach maximum at minus 1.5 volt so if we uh, run the simulation we can uh, see the waveforms so uh, let me uh, plot uh, uh, v out so if you can see that v out is toggling between minus 2.5 and plus 2.5 and if i uh, plot vf so vf is going to be when it is 2.5 it is going to be vf is going to be exactly half of that so that is going to be uh, minus 1.25 and similarly when v out is minus 2.5 this uh, no, uh, vf the feedback is going to be minus 1.25 now i can also uh, plot the uh, capacitor so if you see this capacitor is getting charged out here it is getting uh, discharged out here right it, it is going towards 1.25 and towards minus 1.25 so this is how the capacitor charging and discharging this happening out here right okay so uh, now uh, the problem comes uh, the next uh, thing is we need to uh, measure the frequency uh, so unfortunately uh, unlike cadence or other uh, eda tools advanced eda tools uh, lt spice doesn't have any uh, tool which will automatically calculate the uh, frequency right so what we need to do is uh, we we can uh, go to this graph right uh, so uh, like uh, uh, v out graph i'm going to uh, select that v out graph out here 
right uh, right I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to uh, select two cursors that is first and second okay so I have now this uh, two cursors and a first so the first one I am going to move it at the uh, trailing edge of the waveform okay and I'm going to move the uh, second one into the second trailing edge right so this is this is going to be the time period of, of the waveform so if you see the frequency is given out here it is uh, 4.06 so uh, around 4 kilohertz so this is the way uh, you can measure the frequency of the uh, output uh, waveform okay so uh, let me uh, close this now so okay now uh, the uh, there are certain uh, several options available with us uh, to change the uh, frequency of operation okay now if i uh, decrease this uh, resistance value to 1k uh, what is it going what is going to happen the capacitor is going to get charged at a faster rate and similarly it is going to get discharged at a faster rate also uh, the net effect will be the frequency will be uh, much higher now so if i run a simulation out here and i am going to uh, plot v out so if you see now here uh, it is now running at a much uh, higher frequency right you can do the again do the measurement with the uh, same technique by putting two cursors on the uh, either both both should be in the rising edge or in the falling edges so that uh, you take the entire uh, cycle into consideration okay so that is uh, one option which we uh, uh, saw so let me uh, revert it back to 10k uh, okay uh, the second option is to change uh, the, the value of this capacitor also if you put a large capacitor so it will become uh, the charging and discharging will be uh, slower so you will get a uh, lower frequency if you put an, a small uh, capacitor the charging and discharging will be faster and you will get a uh, higher frequency okay so there's uh, another option also which is available here i i have put an, uh, a 10k and 10k here so the capacitor has to charge to plus 1.25 volt and to minus 1.25 5 volt right so i can even uh, change that okay now let me uh, put an uh, 9k out here okay and then uh, i have i can put an uh, 1k out here right okay now what's going to happen now when it is 2.5 volt here oh, only one tenth of the voltage is given out here right so that it means uh, around 0.25 volt is going to be given here similarly when it is minus uh, uh, 2.5 volt here again in that case also only one tenth of the voltage is going to be uh, fed uh, here that is minus 0.25 volt so the capacitor need not uh, charge till 1.25 like in the earlier case it needs to charge only till uh, 0.25 volt so obviously the frequency will be uh, higher in this case so uh, if i again and uh, plot these outputs so let me uh, uh, see see you see it, it's much higher frequency and uh, let me uh, plot vf so if you see the vf is, is just one tenth of the uh, main signal here because now i have used 9k and 1k and if i see the uh, capacitance so let me expand now if i see the capacitance it, it is just going to these values right these are this is not going up to 1.25 so it is just going the moment it crosses uh, uh, plus a point two five is slightly higher the, it is going to uh, the output is going to toggle so these are the two options which are uh, available to us to change the uh, frequency of uh, operation right so we are going to use uh, this philosophy uh, to make a uh, vco so the next time i'm going to uh, show you an uh, uh, circuit of the vco and explain its operation Okay, uh, uh, for the uh, VCO, uh, the only uh, modification which I have uh, done out here is uh, I have introduced then. Uh, a pulse uh, signal out here so that and uh, i can uh, uh, what essentially i'm doing i'm i have put an uh, source out here i'm going to change the uh, reference voltage out here initially i had given here ground here so i'm going to uh, change the uh, reference voltage out here instead of ground i'm going to uh, sweep it from 0 to 2.5 volt what essentially it's going to do is the moment i uh, change this uh, reference voltage the, the feedback signal the net feedback which we are going to give into the positive uh, terminal is going to be the uh, no, uh, it's going to change okay uh, for to, to give you an example uh, suppose this voltage is zero out here then obviously if we uh, v out is 2.5 so uh, since these two resistance are equal so i am going to give 1.25 volt here right now uh, instead of that when i'm uh, sweeping out here right and if it goes to uh, instead of now uh, 0 to 2.5 and uh, right uh, i am sweeping it slowly so instead of uh, say 2 point uh, ground out here if i am giving a voltage of uh, 2 out here 
then the voltage feedback which will be uh, given here which will be much higher because this is going to be 2 and this is going to be right and a 2.5 so you, you you are going to take an uh, between 2 and uh, 2.5 you, uh, you take the difference and take half of it right and then add to this value so that a different voltage is going to be give, given out here which will be much higher than 1.25 so th that is why the frequency is going to decrease out here right the more the voltage which you are going to give here uh, the frequency is going to decrease right if it is 0 then 1.25 volt is the reference voltage out here which we are going to give here but if it is uh, say uh, uh, if, if it is in a uh, uh, suppose it is 2.5 volt out here and if you are giving a 1 volt here so uh, 1 plus uh, so 1 uh, plus 2.5 it is 3.5 and you take an a uh, half of it so that will be the reference voltage which will be uh, given out here so that reference voltage is going to get modulated uh, by this signal out here right so what uh, uh, if you see the settings what i have given out here it is zero uh, v on is 2.5 okay delay is zero and arise time i have given it as an uh, 10 millisecond a uh, fall time doesn't matter because we are going to stop the simulation at 10 milli uh, so uh, fall time nevertheless uh, fall time is uh, 10 milli okay uh, so uh, t on and all i have just uh, left it uh, left the things because i am just interested in only the rise time of uh, 10 milliseconds because i am going to uh, that way i am going to give a, a ramp signal okay that's the reason why i am going to stop the trans uh, no, tra transient analysis at, at 10 milli also so if i uh, run the simulation so uh, if if i uh, plot this signal right so uh, this is my v control right this is the v control signal uh, which is from uh, 0 to 2.5 volt if you see this is the control signal dc control signal or the vco control signal so that is from 0 to 2.5 volt okay which i am uh, giving here so i have to find out uh, what is the frequency of operation for this control voltage so i am going to uh, select the uh, dc uh, the output also so if you see this is the output so initially uh, like i told you when it is zero it will be the highest frequency so as as the dc signal uh, control signal is going high here you will find they are sparsely spaced like this pulses so that means it is of uh, low frequency so uh, this is how this is high frequency and this is uh, low frequency again uh, if you want a uh, voltage versus uh, frequency uh, curve uh, which is generally the requirement in, uh, uh, in most of the papers if you intend to publish uh, in that case uh, this uh, lt spice doesn't give you a uh, direct voltage versus uh, frequency plot but what now uh, as a worker on what we can do is like uh, i know uh, at, at this what is the dc voltage it, it is now uh, zero volt over here so i measure the frequency at, at this point right i can put an uh, marker so let me just explain you that i'm going to uh, put an uh, two markers out here right so uh, this is the uh, falling edge and i'm going to put this in the next uh, falling edge so so the the, the frequency is around an uh, uh, four uh, uh, kilohertz okay three point nine something okay so that is and and what is the dc voltage equivalent to that you can read it from the uh, green uh, which is the control voltage right you can put a marker then and uh, read now uh, I, I similarly i can just uh, move these uh, uh, to uh, certain places right so uh, this is the rising edge and and uh, and in this case right so uh, here it is 3.76 kilohertz so i note down that value and what is the corresponding um, value for this uh, no, green line okay you, you can put a, a cursor out uh, uh, here also right only one cursor is required out here right so uh, you, you can put that there and uh, you can uh, read the uh, v in is around uh, uh, references and uh, whatever is uh, uh, 0.9 volt okay so that for 0.9 volt uh, this is the uh, frequency so you can measure that way so you can make a uh, table and then uh, make a uh, graph using uh, other tools like an uh, excel or whatever uh, you are comfortable with similarly if I, I have to note down this frequency out here so now the frequency is decreased it is only uh, 2.3 kilohertz and what is the uh, dc voltage so this is the uh, graph for that so uh, i come here uh, to the green graph and and then i see it is for 1.8 volt uh, if you see the frequency is uh, uh, 3 point uh, something out out here similarly i can i, ca I can move these these uh, plots uh, 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 for at, at different uh, uh, 
uh, region uh, here the frequency is only uh, 2 kilohertz it, it's uh, pr pretty lower and i can find out the dc voltage the dc voltage is obviously uh, close to 2.5 here so this is how uh, we can uh, manually uh, plot take the plots of different uh, uh, frequency of operation at different dc uh, control voltages so you you can't get a direct plot but this is a workaround which you can do okay so uh, that's all and if you have uh, any uh, queries uh, you can uh, uh, put it on my youtube channel i'll uh, i'll go through it and in there if there is any query uh, i'll ensure that the uh, replies uh, given to you okay thanks a lot